Oops. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show, and welcome to another episode of 30 Inks 30 Days. How is everyone doing today? Are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day wherever you are in the world. Um, <clears throat> today's ink is, uh, it says Sailor, but I think that uh, Amy Alphabet mislabeled this one because I couldn't find a sailor that made a Tears of Alice. I think that this might actually be Bunga Box. But I can't be 100% sure because Sailor makes about a thousand inks now. So, <clears throat> but it says online, it says Bunga Box Tears of Alice. I don't know if Sailor makes Bunga Box or what. But we're going with whatever this is. Today's pen, we will be using the Serendipity with the Oval Broad Nib. Thanks goes out to Amy Alphabet for providing the sample for this review. All right. Hi, Wumble Bumblebee. How are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day wherever you are in the world. All right. Before we start, we're going to share this with our friends so that they can come and hang out with us too. At this time, I would encourage you to share this with your friends so that they can also come and hang out with us too. I'm going to share this to the Pinterest. And... <sighs> I wish that they would just put the embedded code in the share bit. But no, they don't do that. They don't love. Stupid thing. Do it. Beat you with a stick. Down the LinkedIn. We're going to share it to the Facebook. We're going to share it to the blogger. We're going to share it to the Reddit. And the f Twitters. All right. <clears throat> Super pretty. Yes, I'm good. Thank you. Just about to cook tea and watch turquoise yellow ink. Turquoise yellow. That was a big sight. You okay? That was a big sigh. I think so. All right. Here is our ink of the day. This is kind of a tealy bluey green it's like a very light teal color water resistance test shows that this has very little water resistance I might not use this on the outside of an envelope for fear it may wash away. Here is our toilet paper chromatography. <clears throat> it leaves behind this yellow bit, which is very interesting, and then there's just blue. And here is our ink painting of the day. I don't know. Can't can't really see. There, now I can kind of see. There's like a yellow and a blue and a teal and a light, light blue. It's a very pretty. Hello, BJ. How are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day. Okay. Let's do a writing sample. Okay. 
Today's pen we'll be using the Serendipity with a Yovo Broadband. This is Bung Box. Actually, I'm spelling this wrong. Bunga box. Tears of Tears of Alice. I'm having a nice day hiding from the heat inside for a bit. That is always best. It's 81 degrees here in Southern California. <clears throat> a little warm, but not too terribly, terribly warm. So that's nice. Hopefully it won't get too terribly warm today. There we go. It does have a little bit of shading. I don't see any sheen, I don't see any shimmer, so that's fantastic. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. All right, let's take a look at some ink, some paper review, shall we? <clears throat> this is the Pen and Gear Memo book from Walmart.com. Let's just zoom in just a little bit. Oi. Feather like a chicken. I don't know if it's because it's the bottom of this page or what. This is usually pretty good paper. So I am going to try. Try a little experiment up here just to see if it's a, having the same effect because something about this area it just it's not being cooperative see it's not feathering out like it did on the bottom at least not too terribly bad although it is starting to bleed through just a little bit so there may be some bleeding and gusting all right this is lightweight traveler's notebook paper no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Yeah, it might be just the paper. It's weird, right? Super lightweight traveler's notebook paper. I did have a little trouble grabbing the page. But other than that, there's no feathering, no bleeding, and normal amount of ghosting for this paper. This is moleskin, probably the worst of the bunch. Feather like a chicken, bled through the page. Second worst of the bunch, Field Notes Journal. Again, feather like a chicken. Uh, can I have some focus? Thank you. Blood to the page. Too bad. Um, this is, I don't know how old it is. It may be Tomoe, but it may be uh, the old, old, because that book, I should probably update my books, huh? Well, I still have, how many pages of this do I have? I don't have very many pages left. Okay, I lied, I have a lot of pages left. It's gonna be a while before I can do a, <clears throat> yeah, I have a couple of pages of this too. Ooh, what does this say? Oh, 
just says lightweight travelers notebook paper. I don't know if this one has the Tomoe River or not. Anyway. Alright, this is Fabriano Equal Qua 885 GSM. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, barely any ghosting. This is a Yush 100 GSM paper. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is Leuchtturm 1917. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Midori MD paper. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. I'm sorry for the bounce, I keep smacking my camera. I'm going to move it up just a smidge. Cosmo Air Light 75 GSM. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, and barely any ghosting. This is the jo journal from the Dollar Tree. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is Marmon Nemasane 80 GSM dot grid. There is just the tiniest bit of feathering going on over here. A little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. All right, this is Oxford Optic Paper, 90 GSM, Feather Like a Chicken. Bled to the page. This is B7 Bulky from Danica 5875 GSM. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM. Nice shading, a tiny bit of feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Exceed, 100 GSM, heavyweight paper from Walmart.com. It is seeping into the page. And a dead bleed and he ghost heavily through the page. Up and up wide rule composition book from Target.com. Beautiful shading, minimal amount of feathering, bleeding and ghosting. True red composition book from Staples.com. A little bit of shading, a little bit of feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. This is uh, Apica 81.4 GSM. Beautiful shading, no real feathering, no real bleeding, and barely any ghosting. All right, this is Sanzen Tomoe River. I think this is 68 GSM. 69 GSM something. No feathering, no bleeding, and barely any ghosting. This is the, Nanam the Nanami Seven Seas, 68 GSM Tomoe River. Beautiful shading, no feathering. No bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. I miss the writing desk ink. It looked right at my alley. Who is made by Ferris Wheel Press, the writing desk? I think so. You have to look up that video. It's on the YouTube. It's on my YouTube channel. All right, this is Artist Loft 100 GSM paper. Just because it has a higher GSM doesn't mean it's always going to be quality. I do see some heavy feathering, and it did bleed through the page. All right, this is Buffet Handmade Paper from Italy. 
and it is feathering like a chicken, but no bleeding and no ghosting. Very strange indeed. This is a Yush 100 GSM paper. Lots of feathering, bleeding, and ghosting. Thank you. CVS caliber notebook paper, probably the best one out of the bunch. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, and barely any ghosting. Oxford notebook paper. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, and barely any ghosting. <clears throat> Mead five star notebook paper. Feather like a chicken, bled to the page. Sheffield home paper goods. A little bit of feathering, a little bit of shading, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Aqua Beat cross section pad. There's just a little bit of feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Rhodia dot pad 80 GSM. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no gusting. HP Premium, 32 pound copy paper. Beautiful shading, a tiny bit of micro feathering, a little bit of ghosting. This is JNB Copper Plate Graph Pad from JohnNeilBooks.com. Beautiful shading, no feathering. No, one little tiny bit of bleeding and a little bit of ghosting. An original Crown Mill 100 GSM paper. There's a tiny bit of micro feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. If there is a paper that you guys use that you would like to have reviewed, if I can get this tag out and you want to support the channel you can send me a sample if you do send a sample of some paper please maybe more than five sheets or if you want to send a book great all incoming sources will be tested some papers do not make it into the review, and I will tell you why. Some books, some books are really beautiful, right? But you can tell that they are just the worst. Absolutely the worst. So they do not get a review. But these are mostly for decoration purposes anyway. And some of them are actually kind of nice. But even they, sometimes, they look nice on one side, but then you flip the page and it's all splotchy. Which... And there, this is a pen and gear, so just really depends on 
which is better for reviewing purposes. Okie dokie. What noob are you using? N noob are you using for copper plate lettering? What nib? I have um I have a plethora of nibs. Plethora of nibs here. I have a plethora of nibs here. And I have 87 fountain pens. And most of them have a flex nib. I also teach calligraphy on my patreon.com slash Marilyn and Darling Show. Go check it out. Okay, now we're going to do a comparison panel. We're going to compare this ink to other teal inks in its category and see where this ink lies. I think it might be a teal ink, but it might rear into the, the blue department. I'm not really sure. Okay, let's start with the teals and we'll see how things go. Alright, this is Sailor Tears of Alice. The one I'm using, this is a Serendipity with a Yovo broad nib. I have Fountain Pen Revolution Himalaya with the Ultraflex nib. I have many nibs. You'll have to be more specific. <laughs> this is Ferris Wheel Press Bluegrass Velvet, Noodler's Navy, Amazonite, Ham, Electric PT. Now, if I'm going too fast and you want to go back, all you have to do is get to just about where the, the um, ink is that you want to see compared and then use Tap the space bar so it stops the video and use the period and the comma to go forward and backward respectively, one frame at a time. The one that I was just using, yes, this is a, this is a Yovo broad nib. It's a Conklin Yovo broad nib. Electric Patina, Gravity Wave, Christine, Serendipity, Nautical Highway, C50 States, California, Quantum Teal, Nebula Space Kitty, Petrol, Garland, Black Ivy, Oil Beetle, Aurora Borealis, Damselfly, Odenel, Yuletide, Tourmaline, now we're getting closer. Coraline in my mind. This one's kind of close. Here we go. Copper Batina's kind of close. Turquoise Silver's kind of close. Soft Mint is like right there. Pacific Ocean Teal. Emerald Green. Apatite is kind of close. Alanine. Agave. Teal. CRO. Blue Suede. Sydney Darling Harbor. Virch Reseda is super close. Like, if I didn't know better, I think that these were the same ink. Black Ice, 385, Map of Mars, Emerald the Chavor, Diamine Bliss is kind of close, 13 Children, Tropical Glow, Kalank, Yomoji, Abalone, Cerulean, Blizzard Twinkle, Ice Cookie, and Atlantic Blue. Hi, Wumble Bumblebee. I taught Wumble Bumblebee how to do basic calligraphy. 
And if you join the Patreon, we have the Zoom calligraphy class on Saturdays at 2 p.m. Pacific. Now we're gonna get into some light blues, Hippocamp, Lamy Blue, Namiki Blue, 179, Douth's Blau, Washable Blue, Blue Lightning, Blue Moon, Blue Light Blue, Cyan, Sky Blue, Caribbean Blue. Yeah, these have nothing to do with this color at all. Light Blue, Horizon Blue, Lake of Sky, Lake, uh, Lockby Sky, Sea and Sky, I can't read. Uh, light washed turquoise blue provinch steel blue is kind of close have a turquoise blue bahama jade vine dostoyevsky yuki akari whoopee blue motor city peacock blue nose bears kind of cool breeze sub zero aqua lagoons kind of close infinite Infinity Turquoise. Elstine Topaz. Hawaii Blue. Royal Blue. Monongahela. And Kainite Du Nepal. Kainite Du Nepal is more of a medium blue, I think. Well. show you a little project that I've been working on for a little while now. A print I, I calligraphized the Hippocratic Oath. It's three pages long. And you can see pictures of it over on the Discord. I think the Discord is in the doobly-doo. Yes, the Discord is the last link in the doobly-doo. So come over and check that out too. All kinds of things you guys can check out. You can check my website, the Patreon, the Discord, so we can all hang out and share inks and paper and all kinds of stuff. I have access to a lot of inks. What a blessing. Yes, I am extremely blessed. Huge thanks goes out to pen friend Amy Alphabet for today's review. I really appreciate you guys for hanging out with me. That's all I've got for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell, make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Oh, okay, love you, bye. Have a great day. Hi, Luna. Bye, Luna.